talk to me. And he just can stop cause that boy is a fan. But I ain't gon' act like I'm gifted for real. Just talk on my head, trying to get to a man. They call me like him, can you make me some drugs? And I cannot wait till I call me a deal. And I switch the phone so they know I'm for real. I never lie, I'm just keeping it true. And I got some pain, I just hope that it is. He keep talking down, then that's how I reveal. Bro in the wind, he almost got Paul. Pulling his hand so he saw off the door. Then I hear me gon' be stuck on the top. And yes, my girl, she playing her ball. And I want to know, got that bag in the safe. He talking too much, better stay in his place. We're most definitely approaching the trade deadline and we're going to need some key impact players. If we're going to trade for a player, it has to be on the defensive side. I don't really see us going for a receiver, but the secondary and the pass rushing needs to be cleaned up. We have the secondary who has a lot of miscommunications. One starts with the safety. The safety position where Marcus Williams get burnt doesn't really make the tackles. And I feel like we should try out CJ Gardner Johnson at the safety position. Usually he plays a slot for us. He's able to play the slot. But the safety position, what he did at Florida, what made him dominant, I feel like CJ Gardner Johnson should go at the safety position and make some plays back there because he can tackle unlike Marcus Williams. And we have another safety who we refuse to inactive like DJ Swearinger. When DJ Swearinger brings the intensity, the leadership in the back, and he makes the tackles. And you could probably consider him as a ball hawk, but DJ Swearinger is another guy we should pull up from the roster and stop inactive PJ Williams. But we're going to go through this trade deadline, and we're going to see who can be a trade target for the Saints team. Let's get right into this. The first trade target we should go for is pass rusher Oliver Vervon. Ever since he signed with the Browns, he has been putting up the same consistent pass rushing stats that he had with the Giants, but he's still able to get pressure. Getting a guy like Oliver Vervon could help this team during a pass rush where we struggle a lot. Oliver Vervon is a solid addition to this team, and I wouldn't think we would give up much for him. Next up, we have cornerback Brian Poole. Brian Poole is a guy I will really want the Saints to target, given the fact this man is a lockdown slot corner. Getting another slot corner wouldn't hurt, as we have guys like P.J. Williams and Patrick Robinson stay getting burnt. So why not get you another slot corner? And this one, he's a lockdown slot corner. Again, Brian Poole will be a great addition to this team, and we can slide C.J. Gardner Johnson to the back, put him at the safety position, Trust me, this DB core will be deadly. Brian Poole is another guy I would full say the Saints should target ASAP. Hopefully, we don't have to give up a lot for this. But next up, I have Eric Kendricks, who's another guy we should target, as Eric Kendrick is another good linebacker we could use. As we have Anzalone, who's not really playing the same, but Eric Kendricks, another side of sideline linebacker who can guard tight ends, would not be a bad addition to this team, I feel like. But Eric Kendricks is another guy I would like on this team because he's a very good linebacker and I feel like he can do a lot. Next up we have pass rusher Everson Griffin who I wanted in the offseason because this guy is the original Saints killer as my, as my guy Big Q always say he, he's been killing the Saints for a long time now and he has been putting up the same consistent pass rush that he did with Minnesota when he's on the Cowboys but the Cowboys are shopping him. We don't have to give up much for Everson Griffin. I feel like a seven round pick nor a six round pick could get Everson Griffin, but Everson Griffin should be going for it with the Saints. Next up, we have Carlos Dunlap, who is wanting his way out with the Bengals. He does not want to be with the franchise because the role that they gave this man is not what he wanted. So he wants out and I feel like the Saints should get another pass rusher like Carlos Dunlap to put aside Cam Jordan, to put aside Trey Hendrickson, and get to the quarterback, because we're currently struggling with that. But the Saints should make a move on Carlos Dunlap. Next up, we have Patrick Peterson, who is a guy I feel like right now is a long shot of getting. But Patrick Peterson would not be a bad addition to this team. The former LSU native already has two picks, and I feel like getting another corner that can lock down opposing wide receivers could help this team. But he does have to clean up some flag penalties, but I would not mind Patrick Peterson being on his team if we have the chance to trade for him. But let's get on to the next person. Now, next up, I have J.J. Watt. Now, J.J. Watt is another pass rusher I consider the Saints going after. I mean, he could be here for some death purposes, but another veteran pass rusher to add to the Saints like J.J. Watt, a heart and soul somebody has 
experience. And I feel like J.J. Watt could make an impact if he comes to the Saints. J.J. Watt would not be a bad addition to the Saints. Probably give up a 6th or a 5th or a 7th for J.J. Watt. But he is injury prone. That's the problem. But J.J. Watt could be another option. Next up, I have pass rusher Ryan Kerrigan, who has been getting rumors that the Saints might trade for him. I mean, that's not a bad move. Ryan Kerrigan is one of the most underrated pass rushers of this decade. He's already racked up sacks with the Washington football team, but I feel like Ryan Kerrigan can make a big impact if he comes to the Saints as a pass rusher, but he's a little injury prone, but I would not mind him coming to the Saints. But next up, we have Desmond King. Now, Desmond King is one of the more versatile cornerbacks. He is a return man, a dynamic one. Desmond King is still on his last year of his rookie contract. And getting a versatile guy like Desmond King, a guy who has good coverage and can stop the run pretty well, Desmond King would not be a bad addition to the Saints team. And I feel like getting Desmond King for the slot position would not be a bad addition to the Saints team. But next up, I have Alex Okafor, a guy who already knows the system pretty well. But adding a guy like Alex Okafor could be a good death piece. And a guy who's known for getting pressure like Alex Okafor would not be a bad addition for the Saints team. Let's get on right to the next man. Next up, we have Anthony Harris. Well, Anthony Harris has proven himself to be one of the best safeties in this league. He's a guy who knows how to be a playmaker, knows how to make the open field tackles, and knows how to stop the run pretty well. Anthony Harris is a fundamental guy, a guy who barely misses tackles. And I feel like Anthony Harris could be a top safety on his team right next to Malcolm Jenkins or whoever he's right next to. Anthony Harris did just get a franchise tag in the offseason. But his contract might be a little shaky with us, but it might be a good trade. But next up, I have his partner in crime, Harrison Smith, who I feel like the Saints should invest in because Harrison Smith is one of the top safeties in the league. He's willing to make the hits. He is very versatile. He is a very good coverage safety, and Harrison Smith is a guy you would not throw to, a guy who can blitz very well because we like to blitz a lot. Harrison Smith is the guy we should look forward to getting because he is like that. He's a guy that seems to invest in. Let me know what y'all think about that. But yo, let me know. Who should we target? I mean, I've been seeing Stefan Gilmore. I've been seeing all that. But down in the comments down below, y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe. Y'all let me know who should we cop in the free agency. It's me and Boy Smokers by T, and we always like <laughs> I love you, ocean, I swim in it Slaughter your black and we been in it Whoop out the pipe, we whipping it All of my brothers be whipping it All of my brothers be whipping it I'm finna kiss me a vibe, yeah, yeah You can just stay for the night, yeah, yeah I buy you some new night, yeah, yeah She can move with some my time, yeah, yeah oh. Why you be wasting my time? She keep on wasting my time